second. Hi guys, welcome back to 36th part of the Arduino tutorials and also the fifth video on joystick series. In today's video, using the joystick module, we'll be controlling the DC motor direction along with the speed. Before starting this tutorial, you should watch some of our previous tutorials on L293D motor driver, joystick module basics and joystick LED brightness control. The components required for this tutorial are Arduino board, joystick module, L293D motor driver, DC motor, I am using 12 volt DC motor, a power supply, and some jumper wires. Coming to the connections, the VCC and ground of the joystick module goes to Arduino 5V and ground. And here we'll be using one axis, which is the X, which goes to Arduino analog pin A0. On the motor driver, the control pins input 1 and input 2 to be connected to any digital pins. Here I am using digital pin 2 and 3. The enable 1 pin required for the speed control should be connected to any PWM pin. In my case, it's digital pin 5. Next, I am directly connecting the motor positive and negative to motor terminals. And these connections are for 12 volt power supply for the motor. That's all the connection. If you have any doubts, visit the circuit link in the description box. Coming to the code, here I'll be not writing the complete code line by line. Instead, I'll be using the same code from my part 33 tutorial, which is the joystick LED brightness control. The concept and the logic remains completely same. So I'll just go through in brief. Here we'll be using the only X axis, which is connected to A0 and the motor driver control pins input one, input two and enable pin connected to digital pins two, three and five. So it's the declaration section in the setup. We are setting the pin modes. A0 as input and all other control pins as output. In the loop, first we are reading the value coming from the A0 and storing in this X data variable and also printing the same on the serial monitor. So if I open the serial monitor and start moving the joystick, by default I'm getting around 518. If I start moving the joystick towards one side, the values are going to zero. Again, back to default. Moving the joystick to opposite direction, the values are going to 1022. So this is the basic condition. I'll be checking using the if else statements. First, if my values are going less than 500, I'll be turning on the motor with this digital write functions and to control the speed, I'm mapping the X axis values starting from 500 up to zero to PWM duty cycle values zero and 255. So these mapped values will be stored in this speed forward variable, which I'll be passing to this analog write function to control the speed of the motor. Similarly, for the backward direction, I have used else if, and if my data or the x-axis values are going above 550, 
I'm making the motor to rotate in the opposite direction just interchanging the control pins values and also mapping the values starting from 550 up to 1022 to the duty cycle range 0 to 255 and that will be stored in this speed backward variable which will be the argument for this analog write function and I have also added a default else statement where I'll be switching off the motor and also setting the speed to zero that's it the code so I'll recommend you to watch the LED joystick tutorial in order to get the depth line by line explanation I'll be uploading this code and we'll see how it works It is working as expected. I am able to control the direction and also the speed of the motor. So that's all for this video. For any of your projects, if you want to add one more motor, you can make use of Y axis of the joystick and use the same if else logic. For code and circuit diagram, visit the link in the description box. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in another interesting video.